have you considered my servant job? I'm braggadocious about him. He's an upright man. And the prince of the world says, he is in love with you because you've given him so much money, so much good things. You've protected him from evil. No sickness had ever before him. If he can remove all these blessings and your goodness around him, he will curse you. And God said, Satan is a lie. I know my dealings with my servant Job. He has loved me beyond money. If you remove money from him, he will still love me. And Satan said, okay, you are just talking. Let's try. And God said, now, nah, go do whatever you want to do, but do not touch his life. Who has the final say over your life? Even Satan cannot touch your life if God does not permit him. Amen. I saw in the case of Job that the sickness that killed everyone could not kill him because of a command of God do not touch his life. When Satan went, struck Job, afflicted him, killed his children, did everything. He removed every goodness of God from Job. Job was caught up, was completely immersed in gross darkness. And he was still praising God. And Satan jumped into his closest companion, his wife. And then carried out his major reason for afflicting him. The wife said, curse God and die. You see, that sometimes Satan speaks through people. Job, curse God and die. Can't you see your God has left you? You've been deserted. Where is your God? Curse him and die. And Job looked at him and said, No, I've loved him. <sighs> For the Lord give it and he take it. Praise be to his name. In this season, what shall separate us from the love of God? Shall famine, shall pestilence, shall troubles. What is it? Stay focused. Let God brag with you. Just like he bragged with Job. Let God speak proudly of you. Just the way he spoke about Job. And let all hell get jealous. Of how braggadocious God is towards you. That this my daughter, this my son, in the midst of turbulence, his trust is in me. In the midst of lack, in the midst of, of troubles, in the midst of challenges, she will never give up on me. Because we have just entered into the last days. Will your love for God prevail? Or will you allow, allow the circumstances of this life? you down. Search your souls.